Breakfast on Red with Alana and Robbie. Breakfast on Red, it's Alana and Robbie this morning and we're very excited because Felix from the Cat Empire is joining us on release day of Stolen Diamonds, their brand new album. G'day, Felix. G'day, how you going? Felix, hello, hello. Wow, I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Do you know, I really only did just think of it, but anyway, this is very exciting, the new release of your album. How long have you guys been working on this? Oh, we've been working on it, um, I guess, a good part of half a year. Maybe more, though. I mean, it's hard to say with Alps because, I mean, I, I was kind of writing a lot of these songs as I was on the tour bus in Europe probably a couple of years ago. So it's sort of, it's hard to tell. But it took us about sort of three or four months in the studio. And, um, yeah, it was, it's, been, it's been a great, great album to make. So there's six songs already, I believe, that have been released, and there's seven unheard. So it's quite exciting to have a good mix there. Yeah, well, we wanted to sort of um, spread out the release a bit because we were, you know, the band does so much international uh, touring. It was great to be able to release songs and, you know, go to certain places and perform them live. So, yeah, we have sort of really milked this album in terms of um, getting as much time in the sun before the release date. But now it's finally here and people can hear the whole thing and uh, we'll back it up with some big tours. And do you sort of set out with a particular direction that you want the album to go, or do you just kind of let it organically unfold and then just see where it ends up? Uh, it's a bit of column A, a bit of column B. I mean, I think that there's... Um, you naturally fall into a habit with a band, like or into a into a chemistry or something like that. So once you're in the studio, it takes on an atmosphere that you weren't sure that was going to be there, but then it's pretty clear when it's there. Um, but at the same time, I write a lot of music with the, the sorts of shows in mind that we do. I mean, I really like reimagining the, the audiences I've played to and the, the songs that they, they sing back at me and the places where they roar and, and the things that move. It, it's nice to reimagine that again in quiet spaces before making the music and saying, OK, I want to write for that feeling. So, you know, there is a lot of, after all these years in the band, knowing what's going to um, take off and we want to be in places to take off. Mate, I've noticed you guys doing some really cool social stuff at the moment as well. Uh, there was the history video and a few others with, I believe it was Michael Dwyer, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, Michael, we're doing um, we're doing a oh, we have just released a series of how the songs got made. So, anyone who's interested in the band, it's sort of quite. Um, I mean, we even find out sort of things between ourselves when we talked about it. It was, it was fun to do. But Michael Dwyer is a great music journalist, and he really brings out the best in the band. We've known him for a long time, and it's just if people want to get into the album and know about the songs um, and how the Cat Empire sort of ticks, then yeah, they'd be interesting to check out. And you mentioned the touring. You guys have been very busy, and you're heading off again to the U.S. shortly. Yeah, we're about to head to North America, so Canada and the States, and it should be great. It's been a couple of years since we've been there, and the crowds over there are fantastic. And, uh, you know, the new album, we, we recorded it in a way that we wanted to write songs that would hit the ground running. You know, we, we were interested in songs that would work in the live space. That's where the Cat Empire is um, most alive, I think. And so, yeah, I, hopefully the new album really takes off over there. Well, before you go to America, we're lucky enough to have you here in Perth for the Illuminate Night Party. Now, that's happening for the city of Gosnells on Saturday, the 23rd of Feb. And I'll tell you what, mate, uh, we and the people of Gosnells are so excited to have you here. Uh, it should be great to get back out west again. And, um, yeah, we always have a good time. So, yeah, very excited to be there. Hey, when you tour around, Felix, do you have any diva requests that go in your rider in your green room? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean, I kind of um, I wish I could say that we had a particular Cat Empire Diva request. Not really, no. I mean, after 15 years of touring, we probably should by now, but we are actually pretty workmanlike about that sort of stuff. We have a fairly, a fairly um, kind of basic rider. Oh. It's basically booze and chips and um, that sort of thing, but there's no blue M&Ms or smoked duck from... <laughs> Oh, well, because Robbie's emceeing it, right? So, Robbie, I'm going to lay the challenge out to you. You have to sneak something into the rider. And, Felix, you have to guess what Robbie's included in there that you guys didn't ask for. Oh. Like a little surprise. Yeah. Like okay. nothing too left of centre, because that'll make it obvious. But sneak something in there, Robbie, and then just see, Felix, if you can guess what it is. I like this. I like this. I'll get the thinking cap on here, Felix, <laughs> and um, I'll try not to make it too out there so it makes it a little bit of a challenge for you. Yeah, well, please do. I'll, I'll look forward to getting into the banner. It's one of the first, first times I'll be excited to get into a banner. Oh, really. yes. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> no, it should be a lot of fun. Uh, really looking forward to having you there, mate. Um, I think yourselves and Katie Steele are going to put on a massive show. 
show. So thank you very much for talking to us about it today. Great. It'll be good to be there with Katie as well. Really love her stuff. Oh, awesome, Felix. We can't wait to see you here. And congrats on the launch of Stolen Diamonds. It's awesome news for you guys. And good luck on the tour in the US as well. Oh, cheers, guys. Thanks. For more information about the Illuminate Night Party in Gosnells on February 23rd, head to gosnells.wa.gov.au to secure your free ticket or give them a call there at 9397 3000. Hit up Alana and Robbie on Facebook and Instagram at Red FMWA.